Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Hi everyone. The past couple of months have been a little crazy. I haven't felt like setting up video, so the Q&A is written this month. I only had two questions, so I asked for a reading for the rest of the month in August. Enjoy. I heard from Adronis, Brad Johnson, and Drake Kent said that things are about to go down with arrests and shifts in the political and financial arenas and this operation will go on for the summer for you guys up north. Is this true? Any being who is not in alignment with the service to others polarity or unity polarity will be brought into the light. What we mean is that if a person there has the intention of leveraging power over others for personal gain, their actions will be revealed. This has been ongoing for quite some time as the overall attitudes and beliefs have been changing there. The summer months have long been a source of anger at times, and so it may appear that more arrests happen in these months. Those who are in alignment with the future Earth will come forward to reveal the true nature of those not in alignment. And so, yes, you may see more of what you call arrests and shifts in the political and financial areas of your cultures. But again, this has all been ongoing and will continue for some time until the great majority, meaning 80% or more, of beings have unity consciousness or positive polarity in the collective. This may span several years or more. Are the ET races Alfredans and Ingans with the Galactic Federation of Planets involved in this? There are a great many of what you call ET races involved with the shift there on Earth. There are those who work with the positive polarity consciousnesses there to encourage them to speak up about things that are not in alignment with the future Earth dynamic. However, we are not aware of these specific names which you have assigned. We will further say that what you are calling the Galactic Federation of Planets is a construct of, from our perspective, an archaic structure of cooperative other dimensional beings. From our perspective, the federation or cooperative of those engaged in helping with the Earth's shift in consciousness is not a hierarchy and it is not a rigidly structured organization of any kind. It is unnecessary because all multidimensional beings are telepathic, and not one thinks in terms of better than or less than. In other words, all multidimensional entities are able to collectively engage in assessing who has the most experience in a particular area and then offering their support to the Earth within that area. And so, there is no assignment, there are no ships per SE, and there is no commander or structure of that type. These may be constructs of the human mind in order to interpret and understand what services are being given to the Earth and its collective of people at this time. When will humans land on Mars? The human collective at this time is engaged in a shift that will allow you all to be able to act more in cooperation. Because of this, it has been decided from a higher level, that you may not perceive, that the act of going to Mars would be more successful at a later time in which humans have worked some things out first. We would say that the probabilities at this moment are such that a successful landing on Mars by a human crew could potentially happen between 2037 and 2052. Message for the Collective for the rest of July and August, Dear Ones, the energies of the coming month have a few themes. Love of Self The first of these themes involves love. We mean the love of self that is necessary before you can love anyone or anything else. We can see that life there has often made this a difficult task. You have many messages coming to you that tell you what you are not. We wish to remind you that none of them are true. As we have stated many times, you are multidimensional beings who are infinite. This means you will never truly die, and you have all of eternity to accomplish anything you want to have, be, or do. We recommend first of all, to remind yourselves of this when you feel you are not enough. We would tell you that the majority of negative events which have happened to you were meant to cause you to proceed in a specific direction, or on a specific path where there were things you wanted to learn. However, at any time you may choose not to do those things. As we stated, you have all of eternity. Also, we remind you yet again that you are creator beings. As such, you may craft your lives in any manner you wish. We would of course recommend that you craft them in alignment to the unity collective consciousness you are headed toward in order to propel everyone there further on the path. However, Earth is still a planet where almost anything goes, so you may choose however you wish. 
Positive interference Another theme for the coming month and beyond is that you will have multidimensional help. The collective of Earth in its highest forms has decided that benevolent interference is allowed to any positive polarity Earth beings who have asked for help. What this means for you is that if you request aid in completing a goal or closing out a karmic chapter, you will have it. We understand that you might not be aware of how it is happening or what it looks like. Yet, it is available for a short amount of your time by agreement of your higher selves. We would give a window of time from the current moment to the early winter time in the northern hemisphere there. We recommend that you request that you be maneuvered into your highest, best timeline, and also one that coincides with the highest, best timeline for the collective. In this way, you benefit yourself and the collective as well as being able to experience the best possible earth life that you could anticipate for this lifetime. Calm energies The last theme we wish to impart to you is one of stabilizing of energy. What we mean is that the energies of earth will be worked upon in the coming months so that the energies there are not quite so variable. We mean that there will be still waters, so to speak, in which you may create with more ease. Continuing the theme of the collective energy there as water, we would say the energy has been as a stormy sea. Now it will be more like a still lake for a short period of time. This coincides with the positive interference we mentioned. We recommend you use this time to change timelines if necessary and aid both your life and the lives of the collective. It would propel humanity into the new earth as you call it at a fast rate from your perspective. And so, we welcome you all to ask for guidance and allow yourselves to relax into the knowing that there are many beings who are working in service to you and your highest requests and timelines. We understand that you may not see what is happening behind the scenes, and that is okay. When you ask and allow, you will receive. We recommend maintaining focus on the positive aspects of your lives and the lives of the collective. When you do this, you improve not only the lives of yourself and others, but you add to the energy which creates positive change at a faster rate. As always, we are here in service to you. And we thank you.